All I can say is, wow, wow, wow. Ultra wow. Amazing. Amazing synchronicities. Because as a person who's always been a little bit concerned about what others thought, I've learned to ultimately step out of my own shell, so to speak, and embrace myself regardless of others' judgments and my own insecurities. And so, you know, I, I think I've mentioned before to you guys, it's kind of like following a breadcrumb trail or connecting the dots, so to speak. And as you become more spiritually awakened, things just automatically will fall into sync for you. As if you're being guided. And that's truly the case where I personally am concerned. And it is for you too. You just have to know to be aware of the signs around you. But once again, that's where your belief systems can greatly limit you. If you're not willing to open your mind and think outside the box a little bit, you're not going to see the signs. It's in numbers. It's in, gosh, everything around you. And I, I do truly mean everything. It's in song lyrics. It's in movies. Movies have a way of foretelling your art, not your, our future. Um, in so many ways, disclosure takes place, even in X-Files and certain things that it's just... Okay, I'm just kind of uttered speechless at the moment because, you know, I, I just shared so much with you guys and I've been a little bit unsure about things, but every step of the way I get validation and some of you are going to be non-believers, that's fine too. Um, but it validates where I'm at upon my journey. And whether you're open to things, particularly at this moment or not, perhaps this is something you could reference later. So, um, it's as I stated. Um, you can choose to embark on this journey along with me, knowing ultimately it's imminent and inevitable that you will awaken to and embark on this spiritual journey. Or you can hold back. That's it's truly up to you. It's an individual free choice, free will kind of thing here. I, I can't say enough about that. All I ask of anybody is that you not not me nor judge me for what I'm personally going through and what I'm sharing with the rest of you. With that said, too, I, I've noticed I'm, you know, I've got a few of you that as I upload things, y'all are checking out what I have to say, which. That's great, but I'd love a little bit of interaction, especially seeing as I personally shared with you my own struggles as far as building walls and how um, very independent and prideful I've become and how I want to break down those barriers is I would love to integrate being social with you guys because I have become such an introvert because of the more gallons my disability as well as my depression. Um, so I'm open to your comments and to interacting with you. Now on Facebook, 
even my sing app I kind of phase people out that's simply because there gets to be so many that when you don't feel well it's um I've got people if I install messenger they don't even ask they just blow your darn phone up and personally call you without even asking you if that's okay um, through my sing app when I go there it's a um, singing really is the best medicine that's all I can say about that I sang my way through more gallons it's what brought me peace and it truly was my life saving raft I, I was embarking and on the brink of being suicidal again I it saved my life I go through emotional meltdowns. I'm just as human as everyone else. But it truly did save my life. And um, I, um, you know, I encourage feedback from you guys because in so much of this journey, I felt I was alone. I know now that's so not true and even making that statement I realize that now I was never as alone as I thought but in my physical reality it felt very much alone and still does so very much holds true and I know many of you are going through the very same things I am You know, when I do these vlogs, like I said, I'm not just doing them for me. I'm doing them for you. I'm doing them for us to help each other. So, I'm open to tearing down my walls, so to speak. Letting down some of my pride and independence that I've had to learn to be so much of. And integrating y'all as a part of me because I know it's truly the way it is. We must look out for each other. And, you know, I, I've got to be careful to set bounds, of course because I get overly emotionally involved so I can't get wrapped up in anybody's negativity as an empath it's real easy for me to take on other people's negative energy and I've got to be very careful not to get wrapped up in that I've done too much of that for a lifetime and I you know when you're not feeling well you've got to be very careful not to take on more so of the negative stuff because it's not going to get you anywhere you're only going to feel more more negative more drugged down by what you're going through and the others around you you will suck that negative up and it will drain you and your health will not become any better and you know it's like I've said I'm I'm new at this too um, so please let's share this journey together let's help one another through it as we embark on it together because that's truly what it's all about and as always I'm going to share the link below because this really did it made me like light up it was a spark in me and you know, it was another connecting the dot scenario for me. Um, it may not mean much to some of you. It does for me because of my own personal stuff. And it may mean something for you or it may not. It depends on when, where you're at on upon perceiving things. Furthermore, I'd like to add, like I said, seeing your way through things. You know, I used to read Reader's Digest. Uh, laughter is the best medicine and I used to love the trauma stories there too but um, 
the Magellans, the Sing app, and the um, Magic Piano app by Smeal. And I may have mentioned this before, forgive the brain fog once again. Is that they're great apps to work your creativity out, your pain, your emotions, anything you might be feeling. And most people overall are kind. I say most, not all. <laughs> um, there are a lot of ugly people. And I, I've i posted some stuff on my Sing app. I'm just very, I'm automatically on the defense. That comes with the territory for me. That's just me. Because I'm so used to dealing with ignorance and being independent. So that I'm automatically on the defense. That when people get ugly, I'm, I'm real quick to back them off and give them a little piece of my mind. Um, that's just a part of who I am. So anyway, I, I encourage and welcome anybody to join me. Um, whether you think you sound great or not, it's really relevant. You're always going to find ugliness around you. It's what you do with it. You can transmute that shit and just send those negative people to the wayside, I promise you. You learn they quickly fall away because part of that is not feeding into their negativity. And it's singing because it brings you joy. And it brings you happiness. When you get the ugly, just stand up for yourself a little bit. It doesn't mean you got to stoop to their level. Just send them to the wayside or ignore them. I'm learning that's a great tactic. Because if you ignore them, there's nothing to argue about. They will fall away. Just simple, keep it simple, stupid X once again. You know, my KISS rule is keep it simple, stupid. So, with that said, if you do choose to join me on the Sing app, I go by Snugglebug. Some days I sound great, some days I suck. I may or may not have lymphoma. It's because I'm a smoker. At least that's something, uh, you know. I chose and opted out on in life. That's a, that's a weird story and stuff. Is why I chose to go that stupid route. But it, it really, if you knew my story, you say, oh, I kind of get where she's coming from. I started smoking at 17. I was buying and paying for my ex's cigarettes while he passed them out to everybody. I didn't give them to him, he'd steal the money from me. So I finally gave into this whole concept and said, you know what, if you keep giving away what 